What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev2323. Subscribe, like, share. I do a lot of YouTube videos, but this one I was actually started doing a YouTube video on how to fill a 2020 Baylander boat, the gas tank, where the gas tank is. But we came across going to the marina today. The first thing my wife noticed as we were walking down the path to get to the gate was there was a dead fish and it was like a bluegill or something, but it was really inflated dead on the side of the water. Didn't think nothing about it. Sometimes when people are fishing and they don't take the fish, they take the hook out, throw it in the water, and the fish are dead. Kind of crazy that no other fish ate this fish when it was injured swimming around because normally that's what happens when you take out the hook, the fish ain't off well, you threw it in the water, another fish will eat it. Nobody fished. It was, the fish was kind of blown up sitting on the side and the bottom. So didn't think nothing about it. And even the second thing when we're walking, we get to the docks and there's a duck with a deformed leg. Thought nothing about it. Maybe it's sleeping awkward. Maybe it's sleeping out of the ordinary. I don't know. It looked like it had a deformed leg. So they didn't put the two and two together until after I shot the YouTube video. We went into the dock. We came back. And then I seen this catfish that we just shot the video on. Now this catfish was completely like just deformed. Now I know sometimes during the end of cold season, they start to get some sores on them. But this didn't look like this. This was like a... A third of the body was just missing skin. And I know in Burns Harbor area, they released cyanide and ammonia nitrate and they had a fish kill in the lake. So I'm wondering how far this cyanide and ammonia nitrogen reached because when I put all three things together after we shot the video on this catfish, coming back, we seen the duck with the deformed leg still swimming around in the marina. Then you look down and you see the fish that was dead right there in the water. And like, man, this ammonia nitrate and the cyanide, uh, or this, no, what was it? Cyanide and ammonia nitrate that was dumped into Lake Michigan, uh, how far did it reach? And then you get your wheels spinning because we got our boats sitting in the water. It Does that affect, will that affect the uh, fiberglass? Will that affect the fiberglass on the part of the boats? Now I put my camera in the water to look at the catfish and I was like, oh man, I got this on my hands. Is there any way, how can we have the local water tested? How can we have somebody come out and check the local waters in Northwest Indiana, in Hammond, Indiana, in Whiting, Indiana, on the Southeast side of Chicago? How can we have somebody come test those waters because this happened around, I believe it was the Indiana Dunes, the Burns Harbor area. Now we're in the, uh, right on the Indiana state line, the Illinois, Indiana state line, the east side and Robertsdale area. And that's where this fish was, this duck was, and this other dead fish was. So I shot this video, I'm gonna put it out there. But you know, uh, one thing is I don't read all the comments when people comment on me. I'm hoping this gets, some of my videos get taken where the media you know, takes it and, and they kind of have the investigations done and all that. But uh, one reason why I don't comment is because I get over 300 questions or comments a day and it's just, there's no way I can question or comment on that. Sometimes I do reply to the ones on Facebook, excuse me, the ones on Facebook. But either way, that's what this video is for. So I got some videos of the catfish in the beginning. I'm talking about this. Now there's going to be some more videos of the catfish. All right. Either way, let's try to get this looked into in our area, in our region. What's going on? We got our boats in the water. Is this affecting the bottom of the boats? Is this eating the gel coat on the boats? On top of, I mean, people, it's salmon season coming up, perch season coming up. Is it going to be okay for the people that eat the fish? Talk to you later. What's going on, everybody? Rob here, Trey of 2323. Look at right next to my dock. It's looking at me. Look at it. But it's sick. Look how sick the catfish is. See, it's missing the whole side and everything. Oh my god, that's terrible. See if it comes towards me a little bit more. This right here is where uh, we're not too far from where the uh, companies dumped the poison in the water. They dumped the cyanide in the water. And look at that, you see the whole fish is in there. Right there. It's like just hanging out in there, but you see like completely his innards, like part of his body is off completely. It's 
just sitting right there looking at me. I don't even know if we can see out of this eye. But wow, you see the whole fish's innards, like just, it was, I think it was cyanide or some other chemical where there are a whole bunch of sick fish. Well, we're at the head of the marina now. And that right there. Okay, I put it on zoom now. So hopefully you get a better shot of the camera. That's the catfish right there. And all its innards are like it was tinted with acid all over it. Imagine you taking your kid fishing and pull that up. That's from all these damn chemicals they dropped into Lake Michigan. Man. I wonder how much more fish are affected. There were tons of fish that were killed when they dropped it in, but I want to look more into the story.